Hello, my name is Anita Savio, and uh, I'm with BrainyBooks.org. That's my book blog, and this is my video post of the month. And this month, I am again posting on a book by Peter Pringle, and the name of the book is Food, Inc., Mendel to Monsanto, The Promises and Perils of the Biotech Harvest. Now, the controversy, I should say, the raging controversy over the genetically modified product BT corn and the monarch butterfly started with this quote from scientist John Losey in the respected journal uh, Nature, and I believe this was in 1999 that he published in the journal. And according to John Losey, BT corn calling could have potentially profound implications for the conservation of monarch butterflies. So that's how the controversy started, and here's how it ended. Uh, according to Peter Pringle, in the end, Chip Taylor of Monarch Watch conceded that BT corn was probably not the monarch's greatest hazard, and it was more likely the weather. But there was a whole lot in between, between those two quotes, uh, those two statements. John Losey published in the journal Nature, uh, Nature the results of a small laboratory experiment that appeared to show that monarch caterpillars could be killed if they ingested the pollen of Bt corn. Uh, Bt corn was corn that was genetically modified to be resistant to the European corn borer. Uh, the media went bananas after the publication of the story. Um, butterfly deaths linked to altered corn, gene spliced corn imperils butterflies, etc. The anti uh, biotech forces uh, leapt into act action. Greenpeace called for an immediate ban on all BT corn. The Union of Concerned Scientists and the Environmental, Environmental Defense uh, more moderately noted that Losey's results demonstrated how the Environmental Protection Agency had failed to fully assess the risks of BT corn before approving it. The biotech industry moved to control the damage, providing funding for independent further research into the issue. Uh, six scientific papers later, the conclusion was that uh, in real field conditions, there was no significant risk to the monarch from the two most common types of Bt corn. A third type of Bt corn posed a higher risk, but because this type was rarely planted and since then has been phased out of the market, there was no significant risk from that type either. The entire process involved academics, industry, and environmentalists in, as one researcher put it, a blueprint for how to do research in the public interest. And this concludes our whirlwind <laughs> tour, that's a toughie, of the affair of the monarch butterfly. Thank you very much. See you next time.